Welcome to Car Seeing Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis, Hyundai, and Kia cars. And the car I have behind me today is 2023 Kia Niro. And I'll be going back to back with the predecessor and show you the advantage that this 2023 Kia Niro has got. For the record, I've actually gone through the review of this car, both interior, exterior, and also the POV. So go check that video out in the card above. And also I've covered the EV version of this 2023 Niro. So don't miss that video out either. This is one of the biggest difference I would definitely point out. Dual pressed first row window. How do you know if it's a dual pressed? Well, it might be a little hard to tell looking at this angle, but it's really evident when you take a look at the second row seat that is not dual pressed. So that is what it looks like this reduces a lot of noise coming into the cabin and also going out well let me go back to this one right here and show you this is not dual pressed it's exactly same as what we've seen on the second row seat of that Nero so this is missing right here subtle but big difference full automated window it's only on the driver's seat for the previous Nero passenger as well not the second you see it's not automated you have to pull it up but the brand new Nero a push of a button and pull and one more difference when it comes to the second row seat is this reclining seat as you can see this is obviously the level one and level two i'm sitting you may not say that's a big difference again these subtle differences that add up all together and that actually make a better nero of this version compared to that one so in order to go back again you have to manually do it like so clicks at level one level two and definitely another plus is this seat that we first saw on Kia EV6 and that's now been implemented on Nero as well. So you can use this as a coat hanger, very practical at the same time. I would actually point this out to be one of the best and this is the game changer for the passengers on the second row seat because this actually supports the super fast charging system both left and right so you don't have to fight over for the charging ports no more there is a 220 volt right here this is exactly the output and the power is essentially the same as the previous model everything has now been integrated right into this one row and you can switch around to adjust your ac and right here for the map navigation and other infotainment system as well usb the 12 volts the charging ports and you can also wireless charge your phone and that is the indicator right there and this definitely is my favorite look at this how creative is that absolutely love this hud that the previous model didn't get so there is an hud and of course it's really really vivid and clear to human eyes when you actually hop in the driver's seat of this kia nero the roof rack actually stretches out further on this brand new one compared to the older one shorter roof rack compared to that one so some things that only the owners can point out and the reverse cam is installed right here compared to that one right here and i think this is the only car that i've seen with the rear view cam installed right up there even from the entire hyundai motor group i want to say running on the same wheel size and also the tire spec 225 45 18 and same for this nero as well 225 45 18 as you can see you can lift off the top portion and actually lower it and dive the trunk compartment so you get that much extra space right there so you can now put in the extra luggage that you could not fit because of the height harman kardon sound system and on the previous model 
This is actually a loaded optioned Nero as well. And this car comes with the Corel sound system. So probably there is like a personal difference in taste when it comes to the sound system. Some might favor Corel over Harman Kardon, but well, you know, takeaway is this is the newest and latest and I actually like the sound system that this pumps out. Let's dig in underneath the hood and see how these two differ. All right, so there is no gas left. You have to use the skew. Let's go over there. <laughs> so immediately we can see that there has been upgraded with the gas absorber and this is the engine bay well it's using different color coolant so that is actually an upgrade Hyundai Motor Group uses two different colors one with the pink and one with the blue so the blue is the previous version it's essentially the layout overall the brake fluid the washer sits right here washer extra reservoir the brake fluid so the layout is almost identical where they are how they sit the engine has been slightly modified it's a little bit of an upgrade from the predecessor despite all this the mpg that these two cars pump out they are nearly identical and same so that being said i want to point out and say that the predecessor nero is really really a amazing and great great car both motors fired up just now well of course there is more mileage put on this nero compared to that one right here i can sense that that is louder and this is more quieter and i don't think it's gonna get any better than that because the next generation Nero perhaps will be full electric because the industry when it comes to the vehicle everyone is going full electric and Nero probably won't be an exception however with the limited infrastructure when it comes to the electric vehicle depending on country to another there just are countries that are not fully equipped and ready for cars going full EV so that being said this HEV Nero is still a great great car and a great competitor when it comes to the market I hope you guys like like today's video just going back and forth the brand new Gia Nero versus the predecessor how do you guys like it when it comes to the exterior I mean I know that it really varies depending on a personal taste but I really have to go with the brand new one especially the front so I've gone through back and forth some of the advantage of the brand new Nero compared to the predecessor is that a deal breaker is that something that makes you want to get a brand new Nero over your older one just tell me everything about it in the comment below and i'll see you in the next video bye and don't forget to subscribe and like cars in korea if you did